What's up, good people? I'm going to use the whole 10 minutes for this one, and it might even be a part two. Um, I've been going through some stuff. I've been healing some stuff. I've been releasing some stuff. I've been letting go of some stuff. And um, something new has already popped up in my life, right? And because it was so new and so unexpected, I got a little bit distracted, right? And um, distraction throws you off your focus. It throws you off your course, right? So um, y'all know we just had this full moon in Capricorn. They called it the strawberry moon. We just had that on June 21st. So I went outside and I talked to the moon. And I told the moon what I wanted. I told the moon what I needed. I told the moon, um, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready to move forward. Uh, uh, I'm releasing whatever needs to be released. I'm letting go of whatever needs to be let go of. And I'm ready to move forward. Well, y'all, let me tell you the epiphany that I had this morning. Because y'all know this is council season, and I'm a council, so I'm all about what's going on. I'm all about, okay, let's feel it, let, let's work through it, let's, let's get it done, whatever. But I had a, an epiphany, and this was my epiphany. My epiphany was this. Everything that you ever wanted, you manifested. Everything that you have ever wanted, you manifested. So if your life is not where you want it to be, it's because... You were manifesting. I'm not going to say you were manifesting. You may have been manifesting what was not good for you, but you manifested it. Why? Because at that time, when you were manifesting it, it was what you wanted. And it was what you wanted based on where you were in your life, based on your thought processes, based on your mindset based on your self-worth, based on your self-respect, based on your self-love, uh, based on what you felt like you were worthy of and you deserved at that moment. So what I had to do was take all the blame out of it. I had to take all the blame out of it for everybody else, for, 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 for those bad friends or those bad relationships or those situations that didn't turn out in my favor or whatever the case may be. I had to take all the blame out of it and accept the whole responsibility for it. Why? Because I got what I wanted. You understand what I'm saying? It may not have been good for me. It may not have taken my life through the roof. You understand what I'm saying? But I got what I wanted. I manifested what I wanted. But I was manifesting it based on how I felt, how I thought, what I thought about of myself, how I felt about myself at the time. So the epiphany was this. Bitch, wake up. <laughs> wake up and realize if you could manifest all of that based on what you wanted then or based on what you thought you were worthy of then or based on uh, your mindset then, now you can manifest on a higher level because now you're manifesting as the healed version of you. You are manifesting as the version of you that knows what you are worth, that knows your value, that loves you, that knows how to put you first. And understands that you can't keep pouring out of an empty cup. So if you can't keep pouring out of an empty cup, that means at some point you have to you have to get somewhere and sit down and let your cup be filled. So now you just manifest from a different place. You, you manifest from a higher place. You manifest from a higher understanding. You manifest from a higher awareness of yourself. Why? Because you're going through this journey of self-discovery, this journey of self-awareness, this journey of healing. So now you want different things. Why? Because now you realize that you deserve different things. You realize that you are worthy of different things. You are loving yourself in a different way. So therefore, you are attracting different things into your life. 
You are attracting things into your life that are going to love you the way you know now that you deserve to be loved. You are attracting things into your life that are going to give to you now the things that you know you are worthy of, the things that you know you deserve. And I had to think about that thing for a minute, right? And I got to thinking about uh, 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 some of the relationships that I have been in. You understand what I'm saying? And I got to thinking about uh, 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 Black Rain. You know, Black Rain was, was, was the publishing company that I retired. I, I, I got to thinking about all the things that I have manifested, all the things that have come into my reality, that have materialized in my reality. And I was like, you know what? You're right. I'm a powerful B-I-T-C-A. I manifest anything I want. I get anything I want. That's my daughter talking about she getting ready to leave. Anything I want. Now, when I look back on it now, it's not what I want for me now, but it was what I wanted then, and it was what I wanted based on my mindset, based on my beliefs, again, like I said, based on what I felt like I was worthy of, what I felt like I deserved. And there were times when I, I won't necessarily get what I deserved, but because my self-worth and my self-love wasn't where it needed to be, I settled. But I still manifested it. So if I could manifest it then, I can manifest it now. If I could have it then, I can have it now. The only difference is now, like I said, I'm manifesting from a different position. I'm manifesting from someone who has healed, someone who has gone through the shadow work and embraced my shadow self. Someone who understands that I have a, a divine feminine and divine energy working inside of me and I need to integrate those two. Now I can manifest from a place of loving me and putting me first, understanding that if I don't love me and don't put me first, then my cup is going to be empty and I'm not going to be able to do anything for anybody else. So that was the epiphany that I had. And once you have that realization... Once you sit back and you realize and you look back on your life, you reflect back on your life because that's what this moon cycle is supposed to be all about. It's reflecting, going inside, realizing what we need to let go of, what we need to hold on to, what we need to work on more, what we need to work on less. So when you go back and you reflect and you look at your life and you look at some of the things that you wanted back then that actually materialized in your life, you actually manifested them and materialized in your life, you realize that there is no place for blame. There is no place for holding anybody else responsible for what's going on in your reality. And you realize that if you could do it then, you can do it now. Now you're just doing it as a different version of yourself. Now you're just doing it as a version of yourself, like I said, that has healed, that understands your worth, that understands your value. You're doing it from a place of self-love. You're doing it from a place of love, period. So I just wanted to come on here and I just wanted to share with y'all that little epiphany that I had that, you know, I mean, I had to sit back and I had to think about it. Everything you ever wanted, you got it. Might have not been good for you. Might have not been the best thing in the world for you. But you got it. And you got it. Why? Because that's what you wanted at the time. And that's what you manifested into your reality. So now, once we have this spiritual awakening once we become aware of ourselves and we discover certain things about ourselves now we just manifest it from a different place from a different position but it's all the same game and we got to be in it to win all right y'all have a good one and i love you